Hello everyone, welcome back. It's good to see you. I know it's been a minute. Um, I'm gonna have to forego the bells and whistles of video editing and just get this one out there. So I'll give you a life update and then we'll jump into jazz. But first, random fact about me to get to know me. I have a terrible ringing in what I think is just my left ear. Might be my right ear too but I don't really hear it during the day, but at night, it started just kind of as this, this really low lull, but now it's really loud. It's just this really loud ringing, and it used to keep me awake and drive me absolutely crazy. I'm just kind of used to it now, but I was kind of hoping that maybe it was some sort of vitamin deficiency. You know, you start taking your vitamins, maybe some of that'll go away, but it appears I'm stuck with it. Okay, so life update. We started school. So my boys are back in school. I've got three boys in three different grades. And though I am not teacher to all three of them, it's still so much to do. If you are a teacher and you're watching, it's a lot of work, isn't it? It's, it's so much more than just educating them. It's so much more than all the explanations, you know. Um, it's one thing to, to train their mind to accept this new concept, but then you've got to do all the administrative work too, and all the emotions that come with it, your child's emotions and your emotions. That on top of all of my other duties has been a lot to keep up with. Plus we had a wedding last weekend. Plus we just aren't feeling well. Like, like, like not what you think. Oh, we were at a wedding and now you're sick. It's not like that. It's like, uh, like allergies. Is anybody struggling with allergies? Like. My head is just so full <laughs> and I've been just kind of dizzy, dizzy all week. We've just been busy. I've been busy um, <clears throat> and I'm afraid it's going to stay that way. So I hope that once I find my groove, you know, I get back into the swing of the school year and my boys adjust to coming out of summer and having this, this schedule, this thing they're expected to do every single day that making my videos will be a little easier. It should, it should. Uh, I'm really, really hoping to not have to give it up. I, I was this close today thinking I just can't do this, but let's just keep going. All right, so that is the life update. We're gonna go um, into jazz. What I learned last week was we have, they gave me a melody and I was supposed to play that same melody beginning on beat one then I would move that same melody over to beat two, move that same melody over to beat three, move that same melody over to beat four. Now, that sounds simple. <laughs> Doing that to a drum loop was actually quite challenging. <laughs> so I would kind of um, just do it over and over again, finally get the hang of it. So then to change it up a little bit, they would have you play that melody on beat one, measure one, measure two. You play the same melody, but move it over to beat two then you improv on measure three and then on measure four you play the same original melody but you move it over to beat three and that was so much to think about you know nobody likes the the grunt work and the homework you know but it's so good for me it it really made me have to concentrate hard and think and i know that someday the more I do that, the better I'm gonna get at that. And I can see how this is leading into jazz in the future. It still doesn't sound like jazz. Oh, and I want it to, I'm eager for that. But I'm choosing to trust the process and know that this is where it's going. This is called jazz from scratch, okay? That's where I'm at. So if you grew up with jazz, if you have friends who play jazz, you're in a band, it came easier to you, you better be thankful because <laughs> the rest of us have to work pretty hard for it. <laughs> but that's okay. I'm really having a good time with it. I really am. Even all of this little stuff, you know, I don't know if it's the exercises in the book, if it's the improv, if it's the jazz I'm listening to, or if it's just <clears throat> doing something new and being inspired, but I'm starting to hear things. I have music in my mind and in my heart. And I am just so excited about that. I am so excited that this could be leading me into 
the ability to get it from my mind through my fingers, you know? I can't always pick out what I hear and play it. I'm starting to, but just the fact that I'm hearing things I've never heard before outside of my norm, oh, it's so precious. It's so exciting, and that is what keeps me going. That's what keeps me motivated to do all these little exercises. And this timing homework plus improv is really cool. I can see how in the future that's going to lead me to, you know, there's somebody playing with me and they're playing something familiar, measure one, measure two, whoop, measure three is mine, fill it in, but know where you are because if your buddy comes in on beat three, don't forget to come in back in on the right beat. You know what I'm saying? I don't quite know how it works yet, but I can see how <clears throat> later on that's going to help me learn to play well with others. And, and learn to write music uniquely, you know? It doesn't just have to be a typewriter one, two, three, four. It can be ands, it can be twos and threes. It can fill the measure. I can barely have any music in the measure. I can do both. It's gonna be so great. Oh, it's gonna be so great. So after we did that little um, melody beat one, melody beat two, improv melody beat three, it was time for me to write my own melody. On the spot, of course, in front of my teacher. And so I always just play cool, just play cool. But yeah, yeah, I could do this, I could do this. <laughs> and inside I'm like, oh no, oh no. <laughs> but um, anyway, so we would write my own melody, right? And that is rhythm and pitch. So I choose a rhythm and I add notes to that, right? That's a melody. And then on the next measure, I was to use the exact same rhythm with different pitches, which is so fun, so fun. It's so fun to think about music from all angles, you know? It's like holding a crystal and, and watching how the light shines through each and every facet. And it's, Awesome, I really enjoyed that. And that's what we're supposed to be practicing this week. So let's give it a little bitty try. different notes one and two and three and hold and right and we added different notes to that and then we moved it over one beat at a time let's see if we can do it again well, let's try that again with the new melody and a new beat if I can play it right I've been practicing this is like take number four five all right
a lot harder than it sounds. Sounds easy, right? Same melody, just on a different beat, move it over. Um, but I tr was trying to play something a little bluesy. It took me forever to even write it, but um, yeah. So I'm gonna keep working on this. You keep working on your homework and I'll see you next week. Thanks for joining me.